Just some water, thanks. No wine? That's unlike you. I know it's the middle of the day, but it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> I know. Trust me, I know. Well, have a seat. I'm gonna fix me one and I'll get you some water. Awesome, all right. I really like what you've done with the place. Thank you. Jeez, what's it been, like a couple months? Yeah, something like that. We need to do this more often. It's been way too long. I know, we always say that, but let's really. Please, I need this. Me too. So, so, that I'm bastard pregnant. hit me. Wait, excuse what? me? What? Is that why you're wearing your hair like that? Is that why you're not drinking? You first. He came home from work drunk again, and he was trying to have sex, and I wasn't having it, especially not like that. And he blew up. He called me a shriveled up and fertile shrew, and it was my duty as a wife to provide sex. And we yelled, and we shoved, and he hit me, and, and it wasn't fully intentional, but it happened and I locked him out of the room and I told him to sleep it off on the couch and he was gone when I got up. And I'm terrified. I mean, he really hurt me and not just the eye, but, but all of it, you know? I mean, how many nights are we gonna do this? For the first time in my marriage, I'm scared. Do I forgive him? Do we act like it didn't happen? Do we go to counseling or do I leave him? He should be able to have kids if he wants them. And why to stand in the way of someone's happiness? It's not my fault that I can't have kids. And he doesn't want to adopt. And he feels the need to remind me every chance that he gets that I'm somehow not whole or complete as a woman. It's not fair. <laughs> you can't have kids. Here I am pregnant and I don't even want it. Your turn. I'm on birth control. You know, it's a freak accident. And of course, Stan is so excited. But I don't want it. I'm not ready. Maybe it's a sign that you are ready and that it is your time. I mean, while on birth control, that's kind of crazy, right? Yeah, but again, it's just a fluke. And I really just want to make an appointment and get it taken care of. But Stan isn't having any of that. You want to? I do. Really? Yeah. Why not? Why do I have to have a kid right now? Why should I have a kid right now? Just because that's what every other woman our age is doing? Sorry. What most women our age are doing. You know, getting married and 
popping out babies and being stay-at-home moms, driving around in minivans. That's not me. I don't want that life. I want, you know, I want more for myself. I want a career and I want time for me. And, you know, when you have kids, that's all over. Everything, all the time, is all about them. It doesn't stop when they turn 18. You can forget about a sex life, too. That's not happening. I just want to be selfish right now. Is that so wrong? No. So what do I do? Glass won't hurt me. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Read my mind. <sighs> Cheers. Okay, so same time next week? Yes, you pick the time and place. Okay. okay.